To get your character in a new scene, you could do a simple copy and paste, right? Sure. A better option might be to link your character from one blend file to the other. What is linking, you might ask? A link creates a reference to any form of data in the source file. Almost everything that one blend file contains is possible to link to another, from objects to materials, from rigs to entire collections. Contrary to a normal import or an append, the changes made in a source file will update in the link blend file as soon as it restarts. In this case, we want to link a fully rigged character. In order to achieve this, we need to do some housekeeping first. So this file is pretty organized already. I have a character collection. I got a rig collection, widgets, and a mesh cages collection. I don't have mesh cages, but usually I do. But for the sake of example, I included this as well. We want to place the rig collection in the character collection and do the same thing for the mesh cages. We can leave the widgets out because they will only clutter the interface, even if you disable them in your Rigify user interface. If you are new to the MVRch channel, my name is Menno. Over here we enjoy visual storytelling mostly through animation. If that sounds a bit like you, subscribe to the channel for more creative content. Back to the program. When you link an object, it will be placed in the scene at the point of the 3D cursor. To link an object, go up here to the file browser and say link down here. Navigate to your desired blend file, uh, enter that blend file, and then you see we have several options here. In this instance, we go for collection. This is why we did our preparations. Now we can select the character collection with everything in it that we need. Quick tip, save before you do this next step especially if you have done some changes to your scene and you haven't saved yet. So save them and then continue. As you can see, our character is now in our scene. I can move it and rotate it. Let's now check if it is correctly linked. I open up the original blend file on the right. So with both open, I opened up render view, quickly realized that wouldn't be handy for the performance of my computer <laughs> uh, while screen recording. So I switched to material preview mode. From there, I made a quick change in the hue and saturation node here for the helmet. So now it's a green color. We can save this blend file, go over to the other one. A quick way to check if your file updates is to press Ctrl Shift and O to prompt open recent blend files. Select the one you're working in and the link should be updated. I quickly switch back. So let me do that real quick because I want a blue helmet. There we go, we have the blue helmet back. As you might have figured out, linked data is not editable. Like I said, I can rotate the character, I can move the character. However, I cannot go into post mode to select individual controls. So we need to create a library override. Library overrides is a system designed to replace and supersede proxies. Go to 3D viewport, the header section right here, where it says object. Scroll down to relations, and then make library overrides. Most types of linked data blocks can be overridden and the properties of those overrides can be edited. When you change the library data, so for example, you pose your character, you can still update materials, for example, and they will update right in the other blend file, as you see here. So you got your character in a fresh scene file and want to start animating it. Then check this video to create your first walk cycle. So this was a quick one. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like, comment down below if you have any questions. And as always, I ask you to stay creative. I'll see you next time. Ciao.